back to Metro Pro Wrestling. I'm Dave Borchard, alongside Chris Goffin. Yeah. Oh, we know what that music means, oh, Chris. Oh, yeah. It's time for some fancy footwork here at Turner Rec Center. That's right. He's the international dance champion, Dave. Greatest ever, as his shirt says. And we saw, last time we saw him, we saw that some people thought ACH defeated him in the dance championship. No, ACH did defeat him, Chris. No, he didn't. I, you look. Possessions nine tenths of law, Dave. He has the trophy. There's only one of those made in the entire world, and he has it. He is still the international dance champion. But Dave, I will say this: he told me that he has a special challenge right now for ACH. ACH did the Carlton, Chris. It doesn't get any better than that. The Carlton. We saw Carlton do the Carlton on Dance with the Stars. That was great too. It's lame now. That was 1992 call, Dave. I thought you still lived in the 80s and oh, early 90s. I do, I do, obviously. But you know, some people say I shouldn't, so I'm trying to get out of it. Let's listen to the man himself. Okay. Yeah, I can't Dave? wait to hear the pearls of wisdom we're about to hear from this jerk. Shut up. Oh yes, I know you guys missed me, didn't you? No. I'll tell you what, despite what happened last time we was here when ACH beat me, yeah, he did. I am still your dance champion. So I know ACH is in the back. I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to call him out here. I'm going to take you one step further and show you how better I am than ACH. I'm going to challenge him to a hardcore dance off. What? What's that mean? Hardcore dance-off? He told me he wanted to break out the hardcore weapons, Dave, to take out ACH. Maybe that's what he meant. Is he coming? Come on, ACH, you big wimp. Whose music is that? It's not ACH. It's not ACH at all, Chris. It's a face we haven't seen for a long what? time. If it's who I think it is. Is this Pete yes. Matt? He's back. The human wrecking ball himself is here tonight? I thought he retired. I, I think he heard the word hardcore, but didn't hear dance. He, he just thinks it's a hardcore match. Well, he's bringing out two steel chairs, Dave, so I guess he's up to his old antics, I suppose. I think Iceman could be in trouble, Dave, if this turns into a hardcore match with Pete Madden. No doubt about that, Chris, and not to knock Iceman, but this guy's a hardcore legend. He is, Dave. Pete Madden is known across the Midwest, across the country, as, as he's crazy. Madman Pondo, Necro Butcher, Mick Foley, Pete Madden. Okay, those are the four. Iceman's a little crazy, too. He keeps calling himself the champ when he lost his What is this? Oh, my God. He went to the corner, brings out a shopping cart filled with crap. Look at those weapons of destruction, Chris. That's an inflatable snake and a beach ball. And, and a mom. An inflatable bottle. There's a, a symbol. Symbol, a couple of paper oh, no, bags. He's being attacked by the hand. Pete Madden is definitely a, and there's another trash can for us. Oh, dear. That one actually would do some damage. He almost took out Santa Claus. There's another chair. Pink Buffalo guy throwing in the kendo stick. And what is that? Toaster of it? Why wouldn't he have a toaster here? Guitar in case he decides to break into a ditty. What is this? Throw him back in the, the garbage can, Dave. He looks to be in great spirits. I, I guess he knew this was coming. I, I don't know. Or he had talked to ACH about it, but there goes the shopping cart. And Iceman still sort of wondering. He has to be wondering what's going on this here. This is exactly a uh, clean dance floor for operation for Iceman. Absolutely not. And Pete Matt, we've seen him do this before, getting the shopping cart into the ring. It's always good for the canvas. I appreciate that, beat. Good thing the ring's been reinforced here tonight, Chris, because that shopping cart, I thought, would do some damage, but it's like, oh, he's going to talk there. What? Home. It's home, he said, yes. I missed you guys. There's a Captain Morgan's bottle in there, Dave. It's time to get hardcore. I got dibs on the bottle, Chris. No, no, no. I said a hardcore dance off. I didn't say anything, nothing about a hardcore match. It's true, he did. Dance off? Yes, I'm your dance champion, which means you have to dance against me. That's my rule. I don't know if Pete's much of a dancer, Chris. <sighs> I actually cannot dance at all. Go figure. Although, I think there's one song I can probably dance to. Is it like Uptown Funk? What's he going for here, Chris? I don't know, Dave. Electric Slide? Bieber? What could it be? 
We'll see where this goes, Dave. Cue the music. What? Oh, yes. See Pee Wee Herman all of a sudden? I saw this in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Dave. He's got all the moves, Chris. Are you kidding me, Dave? Has he got goldfish in his heels and he's gonna go on top of a board and do this, Dave? This is ridiculous. We see Iceman come out here and actually have like legitimate moves, Dave. Or all the ladies go wild when he DJs his music, but come on, this is ridiculous. You saying this isn't legitimate, Chris? Yes, Dave, it's I not question age. your dance evaluation skill. This is horrible. What is Pete Madden doing? You can't even keep in sync with it. Oh, it's like full fiction, Chris. And not except not at all, okay? Except those people dance right. And Pete Madden come out to the stage. Turn this junk off. Oh no, Chris, I think he's just giving the Iceman a run for his money. Oh my, oh, are you blind, Dave? Listen to everybody. Who doesn't love tequila, Chris? Me. You're dumb. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for that brilliant deduction. Yeah, I know that sucked, but it was pretty funny. Yes! I mean, not about the oh, sucking part. No, it sucked. You got more moves for me? That dance was just as stupid as all these idiots in here tonight. It's true. True, your words haven't been spoken tonight, Dave. Don't insult these hardworking blue collar fans. No, he wants his music. I'll show you some dance. This is what happens when you really know how to dance, Dave. This is what you, you should have taken some lessons before you went to the wedding. Here we go. Medea. Yeah. Exactly as he tried to communicate here, Chris. He's showing off some moves, Dave. I know you haven't been to dance club in a while. Deja Vu in Columbia has been uh, not in your repertoire as of late, but this is what they do. Yeah. You don't think he's got it, Dave? Looks like the Batman Pondo Zubas. Hardcore dance match is over, Chris. Yep. Ice Man won. We have a concession. I think he, he wants more music, Dave. More tequila? I don't, I don't know what's going on. Crowd getting restless is Ice Man. What? What's this, Chris? What is Pete Madden doing? You want to dance off, man. You're the best. I admit it. Matt, hey, Ice Man, we can do this. No. We can do this. Dirty dancing, man. I'm Patrick Swayze. You're Jennifer Grey. We can do this. You gotta believe in it. What? You gotta feel the music. Do it, Ice Man. People wanna see it. Yes. Yeah. He's playing the theme to Dirty Dancing, and he wants Ice Man to do it with him. One of the most iconic dance scenes in cinema history. We may be about to see it right here at Turner Rec Center. Is Ice Man actually doing this? What? Is he in a trance or what's going on here? Think he's dirty face, Chris? He's gonna lift him up like a dance move? Oh! <laughs> yes! Diamond cutter! Beat suckered him in! Oh, I guess the match is started, Dave! And how could the dancing fool yeah. Iceman turn it down? How could you do that to him, Dave? Oh. He just totally tranced him out with that dirty dancing song and then he just started beating him with a kendo stick. Oh, right to the head. Oh. Iceman oh, is at a total yeah. disadvantage now, Dave. Wow, where's Iceman getting this energy from? Because that's the ultimate insult. Oh. Oh. You know how hard those symbols are, Dave? Uh-oh. Don't do it, oh. no. Kendo stick time. Oh. Across the back. First the head, then the back. Pete Matt, we've seen him walk out of here with thumbtacks all over his forehead. Seen him walk out with thumbtacks, mouse traps. Oh, yeah, that trash was cans. We've seen it all, Chris. Oh. Going to the outside, Pete Madden out there with the toaster oven and the garbage can lid. Oh! <laughs> garbage lid to the rear end. Look, hand in the toaster, Dave. I don't think there's, electric in. there's no in. electricity there, you idiot. Oh! <laughs> the metal brick to the head. Devastating. Was it? I wouldn't want you to do it to me, that's for sure. Oh, putting that one of those chairs on the floor, Dave. Pete Madden in trouble. I thought he retired. What is he doing? Well, dude, if he hears the word hardcore, he's going to come running from the hills, and that's exactly what happened here. Pavlov's dog, I guess, Dave. Oh, open hand slap. The ultimate insult. Someone brought a bag of White Castle. What's going on over there? Look at this. Oh, <laughs> what a move by Iceman. Flips off the apron into Pete Madden on that chair. 
You know, Chris, we thought he might not have much of a chance here in a hardcore match against Pete Madden, but Iceman actually looks like he's here in his element. Look at that smash in the face of Pete on that chair. You're right, Dave. Iceman, maybe, maybe instead of being the, the dance champion, he should also be the hardcore champion as well. Look at that oh. driver right into the chair. What a move by the human wrecking ball. And now he's got that chair up in the air. What's he going to do next? That chair has been bent up, Dave, but still usable for something for Pete Madden's crazy world. I don't live in this stupid world ever. He's thinking about a guitar, saving that for later, apparently. Michael Crace, the referee, referee Wilkos, as we lovingly refer to him, not really keeping a lot of action, not, not keeping the justice here, Dave. Not really earning his paycheck in the hardcore matches, does he, Chris? Oh, DDT on the guitar. Head first into the mini guitar, Dave. What's going on here? Oh, another. Guitar's starting to fall apart, Chris, after those two big blows. How is it Pete Madden bleeding everywhere? That's his calling card. Look at that, another symbol to the head. Someone gonna use that Captain Morgan bottle or what? If not, bring it over here to the booth, right? It's inflatable, Dave. There's no liquor in there. Dang it. Look at that, big pan to the head. Who brought all these toys? Man's pretty bent up there now, Chris. I think it's probably pretty worthless at this point, just like you. Thanks, Dave. Here we go, Russian leg sweep. Why is there a legitimate move in this match? What's he gonna pick next from the toys laying around in the ring? There's plenty of chairs, Dave, plenty of kendo sticks. Oh, Look. He's going Jake Roberts, Chris. A la 1980s Jake Roberts putting the, and though it's inflatable, not real. Oh, well, still might scare Pete if he wakes up, doesn't know where he's at. Well, Pete never really falls asleep, Dave. He's always consciously walking around ready to get hit with his uh -oh. frying uh -oh. pan. Oh, oh, did you hear the impact? Did that even hurt Pete Madden? I don't know if much hurts him, Chris, but that was an amazing impact. The guy gigs hard way on oh. the way to the show every month. Look Gar at the head imprint in that trash can. Can't use that anymore. And Iceman is laid out in the middle of the ring. Pete hey. Madden now going to work. Hey, he stole that can from Jake Durden, Chris. Yeah. Dave, you do not battle Pete Madden in a hardcore. This is taking him to his own turf, Dave. And here comes a chair salt from Pete Madden. It's going to end Iceman's career if he hits it. <laughs> oh, oh, good for Iceman. That would have been bad, Dave. Chair salt by Pete Madden has put plenty of guys uh -oh. out of commission. And Pete Madden in the tree of woe. No, no, don't do it, Iceman. He's going to maybe drop kick it into his face. Oh. Yes. Pete Madden in trouble. Just upside down, hanging limp from the corner, Chris. Iceman clearing Here we a path go. for the go. shopping cart, it looks like. Going shopping at the loser of town, Dave. Here we go. Throw don't right. do it. Don't do it, no. Yes. Oh, right to the head. Those things hurt, Dave. I'll have to take your word on it, Chris, but it looked like it. Yeah, when I was involved in those hobo fights, those are horrible. Here we go. Another big right hand by Iceman, and Pete Madden still phased by the shopping cart from Aldi's. Oh, no. Don't do it. No. Oh, that was weak. Look, even Pete's like, that's stupid. You kidding me? It looks devastating to me, Chris. You just hit him with the... Grocery card. That's an inflatable ball. Oh, it's anything. filled with helium. It hurt way worse. Here we go. Pondo's head. Pondo's. Oh. Pondo's pants is getting cracked over the head of Pete Madden. I think I saw a hash mark. Here we go. Pete Madden's still screaming, Dave. This is child's play to him. I feel bad for Iceman. I don't think he can do anything to phase this guy. The crowd actually counting with Iceman? Iceman winning fans over. Really? This hostile Russian crowd is suddenly pro-Rocky, Chris. Come on, Dave. Gorbachev. That's what it seems like. This is ridiculous. Oh! oh Gorbachev is not standing and clapping. I just realized there's very little hair in the ring right now. Yeah, if Iceman had a splotch in his head, we could call him Gorby. Or Wilkos. But the guitar finally breaks as Pete delivers the huge shot. Here we go. Setting him up again for the chair salt, Dave. Maybe second time is a charm. Here comes Pete. And Iceman is not moving. He's in trouble, Dave. Oh, no. my God. He hit it. <laughs> he hit it. Ice, this has to be it. <laughs> that just came to the sternum, Dave. A chair salt from Pete Matt. And Pete Matt telling him, stay down. I don't know if Iceman will ever wrestle again, Chris. He's still your international dance champion, though, Dave. 
Nothing's going to stop that. He's always going to be that. He gives Midnight Guthrie and the other referee to help. Oh, look, he's patting himself on the back. I think he earned it, Chris. Oh, Dave, this stupid song again. I'm Christopher Daniels, Fallen Angel, Ring General, inspiration to children everywhere, and you are watching Metro Pro Wrestling. Welcome back to Metro to Pro Wrestling. Monster. Dave Orchard here alongside Chris Goff. Another huge match, Chris, is the Yoga Monster, Mike Seidel, taking on that jerk SBC. Oh, Showtime, Bradley Charles, Dave, coming out here to exact some revenge against Yoga Monster, Mike Seidel. And Dave, any guy that comes down to the ring with a yoga mat, are you serious? Now, I understand there's some, there's some very attractive ladies in the world that wear yoga pants yes. and like yoga. Correct. But he's wearing what, purple velour pants or whatever here? Chris, you're not getting under my skin anymore. Namaste, Chris, okay? Oh, yeah, Namaste. I see you. You're over there at Warrior Two over there in the corner, Dave. And here we go. Speaking of Namaste, look, if people throw throwing streamers for this guy, are you kidding me? Look how happy he is, Chris. Maybe you should take some yoga classes. You might get that, you know, stick out of your rear end. Dave, I am internally always peaceful, okay? I'm at, I'm at peace with myself. The only problem I have is when I do this show and I see people come out with a yoga mat, okay? That obviously makes my blood boil. This is a guy that makes my blood boil. SBC. You know, used to be one of my great. used to be one of my favorites a couple of years ago, and now I can't stand this guy. Love this guy. Great entrance. Showtime, Bradley Charles. Definitely one heck of an athlete. There's no arguing that, Chris. Is SBC Mike Seidel. I mean, this should be a great match. These are two of the top guys at Metro Pro. These two guys have trained together. They have went around the Midwest together. Mike Seidel having to go one-on-one -on -one with his former friend, Showtime Bradley Charles. And I don't know, Dave, SBC is uh, trash-talking some of the fans over there, and I, I love it, frankly. I think I mean, that kid just gave him the Ric Flair fake handshake, Chris. Well, Dave, that kid is sitting next to a guy wearing a sporting Kansas City jersey, so I can't say much for either of them, okay? Talk about the once removed Major League Soccer champions, Chris. Yeah. Sporting KC, yes, yeah. they're great, I agree. Major League. Yeah, well, I'm yes, going to call exactly. myself a Major League announcer right here, Dave. Same exact thing, I guess, as long as I call myself that. SBC running around the ring. Yes, the ladies love it. You hear them screaming. Yeah. Wow, that's like three drunk roller derby girls, Chris. I don't know if that counts as the ladies. I thought they, look at that. He's in Warrior Two over there, Dave. Mike Seidel. See, I know this because I because I know all about yeah, DDP how you, yoga. How do you know this, Chris? DDP yoga, Dave. He's yoga like, for regular guys. Like, They're begging you to get on the, the train here. It was like Jake the Snake and you are taking these classes. Yep, yep, we both had the same demons in our past and uh yeah, and then we took DDP yoga, and we're all good. Me, Scott Hall, and Jake Roberts. I didn't know you had so many problems with hardcore drugs, Chris. Yes, yes, I did, but not anymore, because I did yoga. And look at Seidel, so flexible, Dave. That makes it so much easier for SBC to throw him around like a rag doll. Pretty sure if I did that move, Chris, I'd be hospitalized. Nonetheless, look. we're about to get underway. Is SBC not focusing on the business at hand, Chris? Yeah, it is sort of a, a slight mistake for SBC to take his eyes off Mike Seidel, that little backstabber. But, but look, he's having a conversation with someone in the front row for some. Maybe he's getting a, a number later, Dave. Mike Seidel's such a nice guy, Chris. I can't believe he'd call him a backstab. Oh, he's not even attacking when he has the chance. He what should. A, what a good sport you know, he I'd is. Probably, I'd probably like him a lot more if he did that. But he's not doing it, so uh, he's not probably going to win this match because of that. Here great, we go. Great matchup again. Two of the top guys in Metro Pro. Seidel trying to get the early advantage. SBC trying to fight out this log. A nice takedown by Seidel. Seidel, early takedown. Here's a cover, just a one count, though. Obviously not going to keep SBC down for that. Here's another one. Look at that pinning combo. Come yeah, on. just a one count. Seidel, two early pinfall attempts, though. Now into the side headlock. Mike Seidel and SBC, they've traveled everywhere, Dave. Oh, Both of them about. former Kansas champions here battling together. Look at that nice reversal. Despite what you say, Chris, this crowd doesn't seem to be behind much uh, SPC here tonight. I can't believe it. They used to love Yeah, I hear that. Come on, Dave. They love this guy. Again, Chris, the three drunk roller derby girls are the only people cheering for him. Here we go, up and over. Here we go. A nice arm drag by Seidel. Nice. Oh, yeah, quick reversal by SPC. Double drop kick. 
not hitting either either of them. And look at that nice ovation from the crowd. It's a nice sequence between these two, and no one's worse for wear. Come on, handshake. Oh, okay, look. Look, two noble guys, Dave. Can't say anything bad about SBC. Look at that, it's hammered away on the back. I can actually say lots of bad things about him, Chris, but we only have so much time here tonight. English uppercut there, Seidel falling back into the corner. Come on, smash that pretty face. Come, block and throw right in that top turnbuckle, it's SBC. Looks like Seidel maybe setting him up for a big chop here, Chris. No, 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 no. Oh, clean break, Seidel. Come Just on. to the count of five, Chris. Everybody knows that. SBC in the corner again. Seidel, he better not be pulling his dreads either, Dave, because we all know that he, Bradley Trust do the same thing to this floppy-haired guy. That's why I shaved my head, Chris. I was tired of that happening. Here we go. That's yeah, true. Big shoulder blocks in the corner there. Seidel looks like he's kind of out on his feet here at the moment, Chris. It's nice that Seidel has his tattoos on his back, Dave. That really is a good target for SBC for laying the boots in his back. Oh, a huge chop said Seidel yes. Airborne. Seidel's in pain, Dave. Hold his pectorals. Might be torn. We'll see. Reversal, SBC into the corner. Can Seidel follow up on it? No. Oh, up and over he goes, but he lands on his feet on the apron. Oh, big elbow to the face. Look at this, Seidel, he's a high flyer, Dave, but no, knocked off by SBC. Who knows when he would have done some springboard maneuver there, but SBC quick enough to knock him down. Shot Here we go, come on, come on, come on, come on. Seidel's down, legs hooked. Uh, SBC trying to get the cover there, almost pulled it off. Big knee right to the face of Mike Seidel. Dave, Mike Seidel has no shot at beating SBC. You know why? He's wearing velour pants. Look at that, big flying elbow. Leg is hooked by SBC, just a long one count. Referee said two, he's clearly not able to count. Reminds me sort of when George Costanza draped himself in, in luxury velour. Remember that, Dave? It's great. Velvet? I'd like to get to that point in my life someday myself, Chris. Now uh, you've gotten there, Dave, where no one really cares what you look like anymore. I have been married for 10 plus years. Exactly. You've thrown in the towel long ago. I think that was my wife, Chris, when she said yes. <laughs> Over Big the shoulder top. block. I didn't want to say it, Dave. We're friends. Here we go. Look, nice reversal. Nice roll. Here's a pin. Look this at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bridge by Seidel. What athleticism, but SBC with a big spinning drop kick. Here we go. It's a cover SBC. One, two, and three. Come That's on. Actually, a two count, Chris. The referee's horrible. Chin lock now, take down by SBC, telling the ref to check him because I he may he may quit at this point. It's only in the hold up fight for three seconds, Chris. The ref's not going to check him yet. I, I think he sort of is a quitter though, Dave. I see quitter written all over this guy. Is that what those tattoos mean? Yeah, those the, the Japanese musical tats. Here we go, nice right hands by Seidel, but just cut short by big knee by SBC. I'm going to toss you up. I don't hear the ladies cheering for Seidel, Dave. He's kind of getting his butt kicked right now, Chris, but never mind, I spoke too soon. SBC saying you want me to throw you out, and Seidel did just the opposite. Oh, Seidel looks like he's out uh -oh, something here, here, Chris. Look at this, look at that flexibility. Uh-oh. Screwed around too much, though, Dave. Got caught by SBC. Oh. Oh. Doing the splits on the apron, but he should be used to that, Dave. He does it all the time. Thank you, Torres. Oh, big drop kick. Saved by the drop kick, Dave. Seidel rolled into the middle of the ring. Here comes SBC. It's going to be a cover. I mean, his groin region has to be torn. Here we go. Almost a three count. SBC a little bit in disbelief. He hasn't finished it after the, the old groin tear splits move a few moments ago. When was the last time you did splits on an apron there, I Dave? I could not do it, Chris. No, me neither. Here we go. Chin lock by SBC again, tell him to check it. Maybe think, maybe he really thinks I know tap out to this. I know has taken a lot of punishment here, Chris, but despite what you think, I don't think this guy's a quitter at all. Still trying to fight, as you can see, trying to get some way to break this hold. SBC still jaw jacking with the front row there. He needs to just pay attention and pin this guy. Come on. Crowd rallying behind. The yoga monster. Here we go. Through the legs. Here we go. The ducks to clothesline. Ah, oh, flying clothesline by Seidel. Big drop kick. Here we go. 
both men sort of wavering on their feet, Dave. Pull that top rope down, and SBC goes to the outside. Oh, Seidel was playing possum. Now what's he going to do? He may fly here, Chris. Here we go, Seidel. Fancy move to get out to the outside. What's he going to do? All the way to the top. Yoga Salt. Back his turn here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> right on top of SBC. That had to hurt. Santa Claus had a front row seat, Chris. Well, thank goodness. It's Louis Piccoli. What a move. Jorks. I don't know. What are those? Man, what a move by Mike Steinel taking his life into his own hands there. Man, easily could have missed and really hurt himself, but what a move. Throwing SBC back into the ring now. Seidel thinking maybe he can end this thing. Getting the crowd into it as he's thinking about going to the top rope. Maybe here we, here we go, springboard. Flag cross body off the top rope. Get up. hooked. No. Oh, thank goodness. Thought he had him there, Chris. So I don't can't believe it. SBC in some trouble now, Dave. Oh, go oh. for a submission here, Chris. We've seen this before. It's Namaste, Dave, his version of the Moodle Lock. Here we go. We've seen this before. Lock it in his chin. And look at the flexibility by Seidel. Dave. Every time he does it, it's amazing. This isn't so peaceful for SBC right now, Chris. No, Dave. And then look at the crowd chanting, tap. This is horrible. Tap, tap, tap. Shut up, Dave. Namaste. This move almost always finishes off his opponents, Chris, but SBC trying to get to that bottom You're rope. absolutely right. Can SBC get to that rope and stop it? Yes, he did. Get no. him off. Get him off, referee. Come on, do your job. Boy, if Seidel couldn't believe it before, he's got to be shocked. SBC didn't tap right away. Oh, SBC almost tapped into Namaste, but look again. Seidel's still happy despite that failed attempt at victory. Chris, look at him. He's peaceful. He's getting the crowd into it with his yoga clap, Dave. Look at this. Oh. Oh, he ducked under SBC. Great move. And look at that suplex. Where did SBC pull that from? I thought he was done. Here's a cover. Maybe he's playing possum, Dave. Here we go. Kicks it out, though. SBC now, all of a sudden, Dave, getting the upper hand on Seidel. What a match. Been back and forth the whole time, Chris. Come on, SBC now waiting for Seidel. Maybe she just on, pounce. Seidel. Telling Seidel to get up. SBC now, long kiss goodnight, maybe at this point, Dave. Look, the crowd asking the crowd if he should do it, but taking too much time, big elbows in the face. Here's a cover. Seidel with the roll up, almost a three count. SBC, you need to stay focused, son. Look at the Matrix move, Dave. Unbelievable. <laughs> SBC's down and out, Chris. Seidel maybe can finish him here. Oh, come on. SBC, get up. Seidel looking to, oh, Dave, we know this. The yoga mat, the yoga salts. He's going to the top, but if he hits this, Dave, it's over. Somebody get the ring guy to get Don Diablo. Go wake up SBC. Come on. Hopefully that match loaded with something hard, Chris. Dave, that's horrible. Oh, oh yes. Missed it. S SBC moving out of the way. Yoga Salt failed. And SBC now going to the outside. Saida obviously holding this midsection after missing that. But SBC going to the top, Dave. What's he going to do? No yoga mat. Taking a page out of Mike Seidel's playbook here, Chris. Spinning heel oh, kick off the top row. Look at that folding up Seidel and measuring him up. Maybe this time we'll hit the long kiss no. goodnight. Here we go. Oh, he got it. That's got to be it, Dave. Come on. I think on. you're right, Chris. Leg is hugged. One, Come two, on. three. Yes. SBC Showtime. Dang Bradley it. Charles. It's Showtime at Turner Rec Center today, Dave. Shut up, Chris. I'll give him credit. That was a heck of a match. Both guys had their moments, but in the end, SBC gets a, I guess, a clean victory. A over clean Mike victory Sino. with the long kiss. Good night. Congratulations. Showtime. Welcome back to Metro Pro Wrestling. Huge match here coming up, Chris. One of your favorites against one of mine. And I guess I'll let you go ahead and take this one. Oh, we know this guy, Dave. The fittest wrestler in the world. Mark Sterling gets his shot at the Central States title that is now currently around ACH, but it's probably going to be around Mark Sterling in about 10, 15 minutes, I think. And of course, he is not a conformist, Dave, as we all know. Coming through the side door, and there is Mark Sterling with the King Brothers. Yes! Yeah, the fittest wrestler in the world with the fattest, Chris. Where? The Burger Kings. They're right there behind you. You talking about the fans that way, Dave? I thought you said they're good. Well, Raiders blue fans are not in great shape, Chris, but. I thought they were good at hardworking blue collar fans, Dave. But well, yeah, that doesn't mean they're in shape, though, Chris. The King Brothers 
despite what they may look like, Dave, they're an incredible cardiovascular shape. Really? And lots of muscle underneath that T-shirt, too, Dave. Ryan and Jake King, the King brothers, they are the Killer City Kings with Mark Sterling, and they're going to be in possession of the Central States title here in just a few minutes. It's a uh, scary-looking weight there, Chris, that Sterling's got. Yeah, he has a personalized weight there, Dave, personalized kettlebell that he is going to use, hopefully, to crack open the head of ACH. What is wrong with you? Well, you know, what if the rep doesn't see it? It doesn't count, Dave, right? That's actually completely false, Chris. Really? Yeah, you're not supposed to cheat. But... Not what Jesse Ventura taught me. Well, he's kind of got up the deep end, so I don't know if anything he ever said is worthwhile, but look at this entrance, yes! <laughs> the champ's here, Chris. Speaking of that, is it true that ACH is part of the Illuminati, Dave? But Jesse Ventura told me, but ACH is currently the Central States champion coming out here to a rousing applause. But guess what? They're all going to be crying tears here in just a few minutes. Even you would have been, Chris, this guy knows how to make an entrance and work the crowd. Look at him. Everybody loves him. Of course, Dave. He's a great wrestler. That's why he's finding himself all over the, not, not only just the United States, but all over the globe. This guy is blowing up, Dave. But that doesn't mean that he is going to beat Mark Sterling, because Mark Sterling should be blowing up just like him. We all know that. Well, my only concern is, are the Kings going to be out here the whole match, Chris? They should so, be. We're looking at a one-on-three situation for the champ. But Ryan King trying to sweep the leg ACH. ACH is not liking that, Dave. But let's see if ACH can win three-on-one. Let's see if no, they... no, no, no. That's not how it works, He's Chris. so fancy and so good, and he's everywhere else. Let's see if he can beat three-on-one. Your guy, SBC, you know, he can actually win a fair fight. We've seen that. And you don't want Mark Sterling to have to do the same, huh? No. No, I don't, Dave. I want Mark Sterling to have the advantage in every match he goes into. He already does usually because his cer cerebral, you know, part of his of his match is always going to be good. Sounds like you're not very cerebral well, with that explanation. That's why I'm Chris. not wrestling, Dave. That's why I'm not Mark Sterling, and he is. Okay? If he was here, he would like be talking without any kind of separation of words. So I'm kind of joking here, Chris. But if Mark Sterling somehow won and he gave that title to the Kings for a second, would that belt even fit around their waist? Uh, they might. It's sort of like one of those, you know, belts on the uh, airplanes, Dave. They might have to have an extender on well, there, but who yeah. cares? Who cares, Dave? It's so, that sort of passe that went around their waist anyway, Dave. You know, they just sort of put it around their shoulder. Interesting, interesting. Well, hopefully we won't have to see that scenario as ACH has had a great run here. Adventure of Pro, but Sterling gets it right up the bat. Whoa. Big shoulder block into the corner, and Sterling going to work. This guy is just fueled by so much anger, Dave. I think it's going to take him right to the title. And I'm so excited for this match, too, Chris. Two of the definite stars in Metro Pro. ACH, though, not a good start. He wasn't prepared for Sterling's early onslaught right after the bell. Absolutely right. Sterling, obviously, the longest reigning Metro Pro Wrestling Champion in the history, but now going for the Central States title of uh, ACH, who has had the Central States Championship for a long time as well, but keeps keeps taking on the challengers and somehow winning, Dave. Look at that, taking the arm and flipping Sterling around. What a takedown by ACH. Sterling now gonna recoup out. He's called a timeout, yeah, Chris. Time this, out. this is a basketball. Timeout, Dave. Now, this is like your favorite sport, soccer, Chris. There's no timeouts oh, in wrestling. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> Look, the referee didn't see it, but Jake King just threw down ACH by his legs. It's great. This is so unfair. I knew this was gonna be a problem. Well, there's a cameraman over there. If ACH had any friends, maybe someone would help him too, Dave. Mark Sterling though, pounding away on ACH, and ACH is in trouble now. It's, he's gonna be in big time trouble. He should have a double avalanche right after Mark Sterling gets the referee to look somewhere else. Pretty sure that would break the ring, Chris, but nonetheless, Sterling in complete control after that chicanery by the Kings. Ah. Dave, we have had extra supports under this ring today just because the King Brothers are here, okay? I hope so. We have to quadruple reinforce the ring. Yeah, why not, Dave? Just like they used to do for the big boss man and the King, okay? It happens. Look at this, Mark Sterling, tree of woe for ACH in the corner. What's he gonna do here, Dave? Wrapping his feet under that top turnbuckle, and he's in trouble. ACH holding up for dear life, but no. Oh, yes. Yes, I love this, the, the cockiness. Now you're trying to Mark avoid Sterling. it, Chris, but the Burger King chain is running rampant here at Turner Racks, and the Kings don't like it at all. Dave, have you seen the crowd? Pretty sure they all love Burger King, okay? So that must be a favorable chant, right? Who doesn't love the Whopper, Chris? Who does? And hey, we'd love to have Burger King as an here advertiser go. here on Metro and Pro we Two Cap. We love, we love that, Dave. I'm sure Burger King, who has not thrown their hat into the ring with WWE or anything else, but they are going to put some national dollars Absolutely. behind Metro Pro Wrestling. Whoa! Oh. What a chop! 
There's some ground beef for you for Burger King, speaking of his chest. Look at that big knee, though, to ACH. One of the loudest chops I think I've ever heard, Chris. But go. Sterling right back in control. Oh. Oh, look oh, at this look submission this. maneuver, Dave. I thought he was going for a power bomb, but you're right. It's a submission move. Just wrenching his arms back, putting his back on his shoulder, and ACH is in trouble. And it just throws some squats into it, too, Dave. Oh, the strength of Sterling on complete display here right in the center of the ring. Dave, do you even think this phase is Mark Sterling? The guy squats like 800 pounds. I mean, this is nothing. ACH somehow breaks another big chop. Off the ropes, ACH. Big knee, though. No, stop. Cover. What a reversal. ACH fighting back. Sterling, though, right back to his feet. Every time it seems like ACH is about to capture the momentum, Sterling seizes it right back. There's a big shin to the neck of ACH in that bottom rope, and Sterling breaking before five. That's all he has to do. Yeah, probably just walking away so the Kings can cheat from the outside, Chris. Well, whatever works, Dave. I've turned a new leaf, whatever works. That's okay. actually not a new leaf, Chris. You've always said that, you cheater. Throwing down ACH by his head, Mark Sterling towering over the Central States champion. And I'm sure at some point he will have that belt on tonight. Yeah, the crowd really into this match. I wonder if that's more of a testament to how much they love ACH or how much they hate Sterling. And here we go, another big submission by the challenger. Look at this again. Submission maneuver. You know what Sterling should do? Hook those feet too and just bend them like a pretzel. It'd be normal for Seidel. It looks so painful. Look at that. ACH still trying to fight out of this. Finally gets out of it. Look, throw it. Sterling to the side. That's reversal. Big drop kick right to the chest of Sterling. Man, the agility of ACH is amazing, Dave. We see it all the time. The strength and conditioning, though, is meeting the agility in this match. Both guys. A little worse for wear right now, though Sterling's had the better of things here early in the match. Both guys slow to get back on their feet here. Sterling with the attack, and ACH blocks it. Big open hand slam and a huge chop. Look at those. The, the Wu chance start, Dave, those were loud. Here we go, reversal. Irish whip through the legs of Sterling. ACH, big punch to the face of Sterling, now lefts and rights, right in the center of the ring. Back and forth he goes. Look at this, Ryan King can't, he's so bad to the outside. ACH continuing to, this is it. so much throwing the towel, Dave. I agree, I mean, Chris, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 never mind. ACH though, oh, Sterling caught him. Oh, trapped for the insecurity, but no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who saw that coming? Was that a reverse insecurity, Chris? That was amazing. No one saw that coming, and Mark Sterling rolling to the outside, and Ryan King out there to help. So he's gonna give him CPR, Chris. Throw some of that water on Sterling's face, man. He doesn't need CPR. Plenty of lovely EMT women that want to do that to Mark Sterling, okay? CH needs to be careful here. There's trouble on the outside in the form of the King brothers and Sterling, of course. ACH better watch out for Jake King over there. Oh! oh! <laughs> he didn't watch out for him, he went for him. Look at that diving onto Jake King. He doesn't have to worry about him anymore. Sterling and Ryan King better watch out. I don't know if they saw that happen. Oh, over the top, and Sterling dives back in. <laughs> Kick in the back of the head. Mark Sterling, Ryan King not getting involved. Look oh. at that diamond cutter from the outside. That's got to be it, Chris. Here we go. One, two, oh three. Oh. Kick out, thank goodness. I cannot believe Sterling kicked out. What an incredible move by the champ. ACH, always impressing, but Mark Sterling, come on, wake up, buddy. You're going to get the Central Six Championship tonight. ACH just feeding off this crowd at Turner Rec Center. Two great competitors here tonight. ACH trying to finish off Sterling. Oh, look at this, Ryan, of course. Ryan King up on the apron. This is why they're here, Dave. No Get one's safe there, with the right? cut. Oh, look at that. ACH popping over Sterling. Look, oh, look oh. at that nice full Nelson slam by Sterling. There's a cover. Leg is hooked. Oh, oh, ACH somehow kicks out. That was the slowest three count I have seen in a month. Mark Sterling can't believe it. He should just start beating the crap out of that referee right now. I agree, because then he'd be disqualified. Oh, shut up, Dave. You're right. Take it back. Sterling now admonishing the ref, but he needs to pay attention to the champ here, Chris, if he wants to get that title back. The King Brothers on the outside, Dave. He's talking about some strategy out there, and Sterling says no one's safe. Going to take out ACH right now. Throw him to the wolves, Dave. Like a lumberjack match. Here we, what's he got? He's got the fireman's carry now. But ACH going to the outside. 
She needs to be careful out there by the Kings. Whoa, look at this. Oh, what a move. Oh, dra look at the agility dragging Sterling to the outside. He's in trouble again, but thank goodness the Kings are here. Dave, thank goodness. They're helping up Sterling, but what, what's ACH got in mind? He's looking like he's getting up to his speed in the ring, Chris. Running starts. He's got a fly. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, he took out Santa. He's going all the way to the top, Dan. Look, looking into that top hard camera up there, back through the crowd. And this crowd is going nuts. Even the punk pink Buffalo guys going crazy for him. What a performer here. ACH now all the way to the top. There's the Metro Pro Chance ringing out here at Turner Rex. This Center. could be the end for Sterling, Dave. Maybe a 450 splash. Oh, oh he missed it. Look at that, the 450 miss Sterling. Up on his feet, going for the mark shooter. Now the mark shooter's over. If he gets this, it's over. He's going to definitely tap after missing that 450. Oh, he's got it. It's right in the center of the ring, Chris. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, come on. He tapped. He tapped. He tapped. Oh, he sees the ropes desperately. Can he get there? Always oh, entertained by Sterling just screaming, talking to himself when he's trying to take out his victims. ACH needs to get to that bottom rope, Dave. He is in big trouble. He was making progress, then Sterling dragged him right back to the middle. Look, can he get Come on, there? Sterling, no. Do not let him go. He's so close to that rope. Pull him more, pull him more. Oh, he got it. Dang it. Hold it to four and a half. Good job. ACH looking at me. Back out, wrench bat on that, Chris. Look at this. Jake King bringing in the kettlebell. Uh oh. What's Ryan King doing? What's Sterling doing? Another kettlebell day. Oh, come on, Ryan, turn around. Here we go. Smashed ACH for dinner, boys. Here we go. Oh, he took oh, out the corner. Ryan King just takes a kettlebell shot, and ACH is no worse for wear. Oh, I felt the tremor, Chris. Here we go. Oh. Throwing him into the corner. Jay King is hurt. Here's a cover. Look at the agility. Yes. Oh, no. What a match. ACH, ACH retains his title. ACH. The Central States Championship. The King Brothers are so hurt they can't even walk for him without falling. ACH now gets to get the King Brothers. Dad. Here's one from the most coordinated move I've ever seen, Chris. Not so graceful by the Kings, but nonetheless, they're dishing out the punishment now. Dave, they're working on it. Mark Strolling is training them one on one, okay? It's $300 an hour for some jabron like you. These guys get free training because they come out here and watch this guy's back. Oh, right to the jewels, Chris. Yes. Destroy this guy. Come you on. Making that double belly splash you're asking for. Yes. Come on. What a Vanderbilt. Here's what Hooligans. This? What are the Hooligans doing here? I haven't seen these guys forever. Hooligans coming out here. Surprising that they've come to the aid of ACH. Devin and Mason Cutter coming out here, also known as the Hooligans, to save the beatdown by the Kings and Mark Sterling. ACH still your Central States champion. Congratulations, I guess. What a match, though, back and forth. Sterling tried his best to win it by cheating, if you want it, Chris, but ACH able to overcome one versus three. The King Brothers and Mark Sterling leaving the arena, but not before they talk to Medea and her son, Dave. Man, she looks so lovely this month, Chris. I mean, just look at that beautiful They're lady. offering her some training lessons, Dave, some CrossFit lessons.